Well, good God's morning to you all. God bless you. I pray that you're having a blessed morning. Amen. For it is another day. What the Lord has made, and we will, we shall, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. It's Sunday. I hope that you are preparing yourselves to uh, if not enter into the house of worship and fellowship with your brothers and sisters that you will um, watch live somewhere. It's a word into your spirit. Amen. We must continue to feed our spirits. Amen. There's a lot of mess around here that we can, you know, that, that we're hearing whether we want to hear it or not. And so let's continue to feed our spirits so that we can continue to grow. Amen. And have hope. Amen. Hope, hope, hope. Glory to God. Hope. That's that's a that's a good word for the day. That's the word for the day. Hope. All right, let's get our scripture this morning. Our scripture reading is going to be coming from Proverbs 20 and 3. Proverbs 20 and 3. And it says, it is, a, it is to a man's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. And read again. It is to a man's honor to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. Glory to God. Well, what y'all think about that this morning? Praise God. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody, to uh, Lady Karen. Good morning, Mo. Good morning, Sister Graham. Good morning, Ray. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Wilson. Good morning. I hope we see you all today. Amen. Good morning, Andre. Andre. Good morning. All right, well, let's get to the scripture, okay? All right, so it says in Proverbs 20 and, and 20, verse 23, Proverbs, you know, is a book of wisdom. You know, it, it, it just tells you, you know, some things that are for your good, all right? Be, be wise about stuff. Be, you know, um, be intentional. There it is, intentional about, about what you're doing. And it talks about the man's honor is to avoid strife. You know, you respect a man more who avoids confrontation, who avoids strife, who avoids, you know, getting into conflict, getting into, um, you know, foolishness. You you respect a man more, and and when it uses the words man, please understand, it's talking about male and female, man or woman. Okay, so don't don't women don't think you off the hook. All right, all right. So here it is. You know, you, you respect a man more, you respect a woman more who chooses to be a, stay in peace, have peace with one another, versus one who always like to be be, be beefing. That's the word. Ha! Be beefing. Huh? Come on. Um for this text says that, but every fool is quick to quarrel. The Bible says it's a fool. It's interesting, uh, beloved. When people of God, yeah, when people of God choose to be confrontational, to strife, it is interesting when Christians who, you know, every time you see them, Every time they they saying something, you know it's, you know, um, I'm blessed and highly favored, and God is this and God is that, but yet let something happen, and they're quick to quarrel. These type of incidents you have to 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 question, analyze characteristics, beloved. It is easier for us to walk in peace than it is to walk in strife. It takes more energy for us to walk in strife. For us to 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 walk in peace. Because remember now, peace comes within. I don't care what a person does to you, I don't care what a person says to you, it does not matter. It really doesn't. If you have peace on the inside because remember, God is peace. 
God is love. If you have these things on the inside of you, it doesn't matter what people do. It doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter how people act. Now, now understand, you know, so we do get tired. I do. Praise God. I understand that. The Bible says, vengeance is mine. That's what the Lord says. Vengeance is mine. But I'm talking about the foolish, these foolish things that we 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 enter in through. You know, we, we get upset at the, 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 the person in the store because they didn't do this right. Or maybe they having a bad day. Why don't we over lay some of that stuff with our joy, our peace? Why don't we spread some peace, spread some love? You know, they did something wrong. Maybe they didn't know they did something wrong. They said something that was out of the way to defend you. Maybe they didn't know, beloved. Be slow to wrath. Be slow to strife. That's why God gave us two ears, one mouth. All I'm trying to get you to see today, to tell you today, that we as Christians, we as people of God who are striving to be Christ-like, who are striving to to live the life that God has designed for us. Take, take a moment back. Things start getting a little crazy and you feel yourself, you know, going that way. Hold, slow down. Stop. Recognize who you... What's the word? Recognize who you represent. People are, are, are ready. Some people are just ready and waiting for you to act out. Don't give them the satisfaction of that. Don't give the devil the, the satisfaction of, of, of seeing you act obscene. Of, of, of Come on, we got enough people around here doing that that, that ain't Christ-like. But us, the people of God, let me tell you a good way to get them. They, they, they act out and they're expecting a response. Many people are expecting a response because of how you used to be. Oh, come on with somebody. Because of how some of us used to be. Some of us, we used to be that way. Boy, you say something to us, you, you look at us a certain way, or, you know, whatever. We would go at it. What? What? But now that you've come into the fold. You come to Christ. Ray, you saying, mm. I don't know what you saying, mm, about. <laughs> but now that you've come into the fold, we don't have to act that way. There's just some things we just leave to God. We don't always have to prove who we are. God knows who we are. Come on, somebody. All right? We, we don't always have to do that. All right? M make them look like the fool. They arguing with you and they doing this and they doing that. And you looking like, for what? What's the matter? Are you okay? I dare you to do that. Well, they will flip out. Because you remember, remember now, a person, can only argue, a person cannot argue with themselves. It takes two people to argue. They can't argue with themselves. Then, so they're going to get even madder because you ain't arguing with them and they're going to leave it alone. Don't don't be a fool with them. Okay? Praise God. <laughs> don't be a fool. Live in peace. Live in love. That's right. That's right. That's right, Sister Walker. That's right. That's right. All right, beloved. Let's pray real quick. Y'all stay with me. Let's pray, okay? Father, we thank you, God, for your grace. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your love, God. We thank you just for your mercy because it's brand new to us every morning. God, show us your way. Lord, some of us are still dealing with some of those things that we used to do from our past. And God, we're not that person anymore. You said that there is no more condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. And so, God, we are not who they think we are. We are not who they say we are. We are not who, what, whatever we used to act. We are changed. We've been transformed by the renewing of our mind. And so, God, help us to display those characteristics of you. Love, peace, joy. God, help us this day. Help us 
as we go through these things, as things comes our way, because God, things are coming our way. Challenges are presenting themselves. God, give us the strength that we're needing to be an example of a Christian. God, you said vengeance is yours, so God, we leave it in your hands. God, whatever and whatever it may come, whatever it is and whatever may come, we leave it in your hands, God, for you to handle it, you to deal with it. Lord, we ask you to bless us throughout this day as we continue to, to, to worship your name and give you glory, oh God, for we honor you, God. Hallelujah. We honor you today. Hallelujah. Today, tomorrow, our next week, every day. Every day is a day that we ought to honor you, God. And we take the moment to say thank you, Jesus. Lord, we ask you now just to keep us in your care as we continue to do your will. For it's not our will, but Lord, it's your will that shall be done. And God, to teach us these things. That is not about us, but God is about you. So teach us these things, God. We're forever growing and forever learning about you. So God, we thank you for you having you having patience with us. <laughs> glory to God. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Give you glory and the honor. And the people of God said amen and amen. Well, good God's morning to you all. God bless you. Amen. Again, good morning, Ray. Good morning, Sister Walker. Good morning. God bless you, uh, Robin Blackwell. God bless you. <laughs> Ray said God knows who we are and who, who we are not. He does. And I pray he help, He helps us. Amen. He knows. He knows who we are and who we not. And I pray he helps us to, to be better. Amen. Don't you want to be better? Don't you want to be better? I want to be better. I don't want to be what they say and what they call me to be. I want to be better. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you, Anthony Myers. God bless you, Sister Davis. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you again to all of you. I love you all. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, remember, we are having service today. And so make sure that if you come today, um, social distancing will be in practice. And so also, if you have a mask, bring it. If you do not have your mask, you're, we have one that will be available for you, okay? Hand, hand sanitizer is on deck. We cleaned the sanctuary and sanitized it yesterday. So you're more than welcome to come and be a blessing, all right? All right. So God bless you. We hope to see you soon. Uh, to all our members that are watching this morning, God bless you. We love you. Make sure you're checking the app to follow up with things that, that I don't display and um, share on Facebook, okay? All right. Otherwise, I pray that we'll see you today. Um, remember our Bible study, Wednesday, Battlefield of the Mind. If you don't have your book, please get with me to get with your book, okay? So we can stay abreast and stay together, all right? Remember, I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. We're hoping you to see you today at 11 o'clock. If you can't get to the building, it's okay. You can watch Facebook Live at 11 o'clock. We will be live streaming. There is a word from the Lord. There is a word from the Lord, and so we're we're grateful, amen, that he continues to, to, to open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing. And so God bless you today. We love you. We'll see you soon. And don't forget, let them fools act a fool. Don't you act a fool with them, okay? All right? All right, guys. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. And we'll again, again, we'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place, or today at 11 o'clock, okay? God bless you. Good God's morning to you. <laughs>